Along these roads we roam, we find adventure through traveling, camping, boondocking, and exploring. Hey, welcome to our channel, The Roads We Roam. This is my husband, Russ. And this is my wife, Carrie. Uh, we decided to make a video because we purchased uh, some flying insect screens from Camco. Uh, we got them off of Amazon. We'll put the links down below. And uh, we just kind of wanted to show our experience on putting these screens on our Little Guy Max trailer. Uh, hope you enjoy it. Mud daubers are wasps and they like to build their nests out of mud. They can cause issues with your hot water, refrigerator, and furnace vents on your RV. They're attracted to the smell of propane and often build nests in the vent areas that can block your airflow. Luckily, attaching these vents are an easy way to protect this from happening on our little guy, Max. We wound up purchasing these screens from Camco. As you can see, they make them in different sizes and shapes to custom fit to different RV sections. We bought ours on Amazon and the prices for these range from 12 to 20 bucks. We'll put a link for these in the description below. The company states these are easy to install. Let's go through each of them to see. Okay, we'll start with the slatted vents. We'll use these smaller pieces. See how they fit in right here? The package came with small zip ties to secure them in place. I guess you could try to loop it through, but that might be really difficult. You'll actually need to remove the cover. All right, so with the vent off, you can now take one of the screen strips and attach it like this. The instructional video for the installation of the next two screens took all but 15 seconds. It took me a little bit longer. There is a learning curve here, so you'll get better as you go. This should not stand at the tool on the crossbar of the spring. Put your screen over the opening or vent to be covered. Push the hook over the connection point and remove the tool. Step one says to position the screen over the vent area. And note the spring connection point relative to the screen. Easy enough. Step number two says to remove the screen and insert the end of the spring without the crossbar through the connection point on the screen, securing across three screen wires. Step three, insert the installation tool through the screen and spring. Position the notched end of the installation tool on the crossbar of the spring. Holding the screen over the designated area, push the end of the spring past the connection point. Slide the hook over the connection point and remove the tool slowly. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you found this video helpful. Yes, if you did, please consider subscribing to our channel and clicking the like button. It really helps us get out to the masses of people out there. Um, if you're already a subscriber, click that notification button. It'll let you know every time we put something new out. Thank you. Bye.